in this uh, segment we will be talking about portal system and portal circulation. Now in order to understand how this circulation takes place and what exactly is portal system made up of, we need to understand or recap how the normal circulation takes place. In case of normal circulation, what happens is when heart, say this is the heart, when heart pumps the blood, the blood is taken by an artery. This artery divides into branches and these branches divide into a set of capillaries. These capillaries rejoin <coughs> to form the venules and veins and these veins finally come back into the heart or bring the blood back into the heart. And this is the set of capillaries which is in that organ where the blood has to be supplied. So there is an artery which is supplying the blood. There is a vein which is bringing the blood back to the heart. This is normal. But in case of portal system, there is a special vein which is called portal vein. And depending upon what this portal vein is doing, we have three types of systems. Two of which are found in human beings and all three in lower organisms. We will talk about those systems in detail. But let us understand, we are talking about the first that is hepatic portal system and circulation. Hepatic portal system. And as the word hepatic is there, that means it is associated with liver. Again, let us draw the same thing. This is the heart. And the organ where the blood is being supplied is, say, intestine. We know in intestine, all the digestion takes place, absorption takes place. And this absorbed food has to be supplied or sent to an organ where it can be converted into its usable forms or it can be assimilated. So, what is going to be the circulation path? Normal, the artery comes here. This artery divides into a set of capillaries and through this capillary, exchange takes place. That means... <clears throat> From intestine, all that absorbed food is sent to the blood. So, blood absorbs all that material. Now, it has all glucose, it has amino acids, fatty acids, everything. These things have to go to liver so that glucose, extra glucose can be converted into glycogen. Amino acids can be used to uh, make proteins. Fatty acid, glycerol can be used to synthesize fats. That means the organ which is going to do this is liver. If it was normal circulation, then this blood would have been sent to the heart. And then heart would send all this glucose, amino acid, fatty acid rich blood to all the parts of the body where they would not be used or they cannot be used. So, there is a vein which is taking all this absorbed material to an intermediate organ that is liver. And here it again breaks into a set of capillaries. So that all that thing which was absorbed from the intestine can be offloaded into the liver. And now the blood which is deoxygenated without this glucose, amino acid and everything will be sent back to the heart. So, <coughs> the function which is done by this portal vein is actually offloading of the material which has been collected from intestine into the liver. And this is known as the hepatic portal vein. And this vein has two sets of capillaries. The first set is known as the collecting set of capillary. And this is known as the distributing set of capillary. 
So hepatic portal vein or any portal vein would have two sets of capillaries. And these capillaries would be termed as collecting capillaries and distributing capillaries. So this is the first set of capillary and this is the second set of capillaries. So what exactly is a portal vein? A portal vein is the vein which collects the material from one organ and breaks into a second set of capillary and offloads that material into an intermediate organ. So depending upon which organ is it offloading that material to would give this portal vein the name. Here the organ is liver and that is why we are calling it hepatic portal vein. And this is the system in which this hepatic portal circulation takes place. This is the normal one. And the difference is there is an additional set of capillaries and an additional organ which we call the intermediate. Here only one organ, only one set of capillaries and the blood goes back to the heart. This is normal circulation. This is hepatic portal system. In human beings, this hepatic portal system is very well developed. There is one more system which is very well developed in humans is known as hypophyseal portal system. Hypophyseal portal system. And here the intermediate organ is hypothalamus. So now what happens is, again the same thing, this is the heart. The heart is pumping the blood to hypothalamus. So this is the artery which is carrying the oxygenated blood to hypothalamus. Here in hypothalamus, this artery or arteriole would break into a set of capillaries. And in, in case of normal circulation, this blood would have gone back to the heart. But from the hypothalamus are released the neurohormones or which are also known as the releasing factors. These neurohormones or releasing factors are responsible for regulating the anterior lobe of pituitary. So, if it was normal, what would have happened? The neurotransmitters or the releasing factors which are effective only on anterior lobe of pituitary would have gone to the heart. Then, when heart would have pumped this blood to all the body parts, these hormones would have reached everywhere. But their action is only on the anterior lobe of pituitary. So why not offload those hormones to the anterior lobe and then send the blood without those hormones to the heart. So that is the function which is done by the hypophyseal portal vein. So this vein which is formed from this set of capillary is hypophyseal and it is going to break into a second set of capillaries here. And this is the anterior pituitary. This vein is known as hypophyseal portal vein. And now after, see from here the neurohormones have been sent to the blood. From the blood these neurohormones are sent to the pituitary where they are actually going to work and now the blood without these hormones comes back to the heart. <coughs> Sorry. So this is hypophyseal portal system and the purpose is to send that substance to a particular organ where they are to be used or where they are going to perform a particular function. It doesn't make sense to send all those substances everywhere in the body where they have no role to play. So the function is only to send that specific substance. It could be absorbed material here or it could be the neurohormones or releasing factor.
to the anterior lobe of pituitary where they're going to work and the blood without those hormones should be sent to the heart. And now when the heart pumps this blood, it's going to go without those hormones. There is a third portal system which is known as a renal portal system. Renal portal system is absent in mammals. Renal portal system. And as there is word renal, it is associated with kidney. So let us see in which organisms it is very well developed, poorly developed or absent. It is very well developed in fishes and amphibians. It is developed, well developed we can say, in reptiles. It is vestigial in birds and it is absent in mammals. And the reason why it is very well developed in fishes and amphibians is because of this system, they are able to maintain the osmotic concentration of the blood which helps them in absorption of oxygen from the water. Well, now how this system is going to work? Heart is going to pump the blood to various parts of the body. So the blood goes to the body parts. From the body parts, here there would be a set of capillaries. Body parts are going to release all that waste that they have absorbed or they have collected into the blood. And now this system is going to open into an intermediate organ that is kidney. And again here it is going to break into a set of capillaries. And what is going to happen here is all that waste, nitrogenous waste, would be dumped into the kidney. Kidney is this organ which is going to eliminate all that waste from the body. So if the body tissues have collected that waste, why should that waste containing blood go into the heart? Because if heart is going to pump it, then this waste containing blood will be circulated to all the body parts. So instead, it is sent to an intermediate organ that is kidney where all that waste material is dumped there so that it can be eliminated and that blood without nitrogenous waste would be sent back to the heart. And this is the renal portal way. So in all these three cases, we have seen that the portal vein's job is to collect material from one place, offload it into an intermediate organ so that that intermediate organ which is responsible for taking care of that substance can deal with it and the blood without those substances can be sent back to the heart. And each uh, portal vein, whether it is hepatic, Hypophyseal or renal has two sets of capillaries. The collecting, here also there is collecting and collecting. And the second set that is distributing, distributing here also and here. So each portal vein has two sets of capillaries. In humans, hepatic and hypophyseal portal systems are found. This is absent in case of mammals. But this renal portal system is found in lower vertebrates. And the way it works is to remove the waste so that they are able to absorb uh, oxygen and this osmotic concentration balance can be maintained. So these are the three portal systems and this is how the circulation in these portal veins takes place.